Hi, Amy with Fashion Topics here in AJ's Vintage Designs, and I'm gonna do some experimenting today. I got this little table, and I'll insert some before pictures, but I got this table, and I wanted to try something different with it, so I actually had, I'll insert pictures, but I painted um, one part pink, one part baby blue, one part uh, lavender, another part mint green, and then I painted over it in white, and then I sanded back some of the colors so you can see a little bit of the pastel color showing through the white. Um, and then the I'm using Annie Sloan's Pure White, and this stuff is so thick. <laughs> and I'm actually out. And so now um, I, I, I don't have time to go out and buy more white, and I don't wanna change brands because then I have to start all over. Um, and I do have some like tans and stuff here, but I don't have any like pure whites left. Um, so I decided to experiment. I'm going to add some Annie Sloan clear wax, but where is my paint? Oh. I'm gonna add some of the, it's called Lilac Bloom, which is kind of like a pinkish lavender. It's not a true lavender, but it's not a true pink either. It's like an in-between. Um, so I'm going to use this, a little bit of this, and I'm gonna mix it with my Annie Sloan Clear Wax. Mix the two together to make a colored wax, and I'm just gonna play. I don't know what it's gonna look like, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but if all fails, I sand it down and I start over. Um, but I just wanna play and have some fun, and it's a single bedside nightstand, so I don't have a set of them, and so I figure this is probably the best piece for me to experiment on. So let me show you kinda of like the distressing real quick, and then I'll, we'll jump into this. Okay, so he, right here you can kind of see where I, as long as it stays in focus, I sanded back the white. Instead of it showing wood, it's showing the slight pastel of pink. Um, you can really see, let me go out of focus again. You can really see like right there. See the pink is showing through. So I just kind of sanded that back, just trying to do something fun uh, as far as distressing. And then the baby blue, there I've got mint green showing through. So when I, where I sanded, a little bit of mint green shows through and some pink, you see there, pink. So I'm just experimenting and playing. So and then right there I have baby blue coming through. And then the bottom has some nice details and a little bit of the pink is showing through but that's really where I wanna get the colored wax in. And so you can see I just put some pastels underneath the white, sanded it back and that's all I've done so far. Okay, to start off here, I'm gonna take a big chunk of my clear wax. I love these popsicle sticks. I buy them by the bulk. I use them for everything. Stirring, scooping, they come in handy. Okay. So I've got a big chunk of clear wax. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of paint to it. Doesn't take a lot of paint. I'm gonna take a cream stick. I'm just going to scoop. This Art Mines is really thick paint too. Look at that. It's really thick paint too, so sometimes I have to water it down to use it. So I'm just putting a big dollop in there. Mix them together. And if you're really nervous, you can do a coat of clear wax on your nightstand or your, your piece. Do clear wax first to protect it. Um, but uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just kind of experimenting, so I'm not going to put any clear wax on it by itself. I'm gonna add a little bit more clear wax. Don't put your dirty stick back in, I'm using the clean side. Okay. And if it's too thick for you, for you, you can kind of thin it out. These little styrofoam bowls are terrible. Uh, but I'm out of my, like, the cardboard type Dixie cup ones. These styrofoam ones are terrible. But you can thin out your wax a little bit to give it a more runnier consistency. Um, I've done it once before. And I believe I added minerals, uh, just a few drops of mineral spirits to it. 
to thin it out. But I just wanna color my wax right now. Okay, I think I got it all stirred up. So now it's a lavender wax. Okay, put the lid back on that so I don't dry it out. And just using my Art Minds uh, waxing brush. I've had this forever. You can see it's <laughs> well used. I've used it on a lot of things. And there is the colored wax. And I'm gonna start on the front of the piece. Okay, I apologize for the shadowing. I'm working in my garage and it is freezing cold outside, so I am not opening the garage doors to get extra light in. Okay, so I'm gonna start right down here. Zoom in. What I'll be doing is wiping this, rubbing this on and wiping it off with one of my blue shop towels. Get that ready. Okay, like I said, I'm experimenting. I'm not, I don't even have a plan. I just wanted to see what this does. So, I'd rub it in to all the little nooks and crannies. I think I can tell already I'm gonna need to add some more paint. It's not very dark. You can hardly see it. You can just see a very subtle pink. Let me try a little bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna add some more paint to it. I want to be able to at least see it. So I'm adding in another dollop. I don't have an exact measuring. It's just a dollop on the end of my little stirring stick. Okay. Okay, so I made it, actually made it just a little bit thinner by adding more paint to it. So let's see what that does. Okay, now I can actually see that. Zoom in a little bit. So you can see the pink. Like I said, I apologize for the lighting. I want to get this done. And I could probably add another wax with like some mint green and then another wax and just build up wax of all different colors. Just build up different layers of colors of waxes. Just make sure that gets down on the cracks of the wood. I don't want too much on, but I'll be wiping it back here in a little bit. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit so the paint gets a chance to kind of stick. Okay. I'm going over the whole thing. And if I decide to add a second colored wax, I'll put another colored layer of wax over this after I buffed it kind of give it a confetti look, like kind of like party confetti with all different colors. I'm just gonna do the front of the piece for you guys. And my shadow for my camera is actually right on the piece. rubbing it in everywhere. It's just giving it kind of like a translucent lavender hue to the whole thing. I'm curious how much of it will, is gonna stick after I wipe it back. I mean, I've used white waxes, black waxes, dark waxes. Um, I've added some, some blacks into the clear wax to light it up a little bit, but I've never used like a pastel actual color in my wax. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can actually see it. So you can see, I mean, there is a little bit of just a slight lavender hue. I'll take, up, I'll take some close up pictures. I'm gonna try wiping this back and see how much of it actually sticks. You buff it until it becomes slippery. Right now, you'll hit spots that's kind of tacky. 
and buff back until it's like it gets it gets slippery. It's not tacky anymore. Yeah, I'll definitely be adding another color. I mean, it's subtle, but. I usually use white a white t-shirt. That actually works better because it doesn't pull as much. Let me see if I got one. Okay, yeah, I like, I like using the white cut-up t-shirts you get from the paint department. They're easy to hold on to. They don't slip out of your hands as easy as those blue rags do. Okay. I'm not rubbing, I'm not rubbing hard. Sorry, you couldn't see me right there. I was off camera. I'm not rubbing hard, I'm just rubbing until it's no longer dragging on my rag. And it has a nice, I mean this is nice and dry now and it's nice and slippery. I love the finish that a wax gives. I think every, everywhere is pretty much done. It left, I am gonna open the garage to show you because it did leave a pink hue, a lavender pinkish hue all over the white, I like it, but I think if I add a second color to it and have a second color hue to it, it'd be even funner. And I definitely have to get something darker into the grooves of this detail. Otherwise, I'm kind of missing out on this beautiful detail down here. Okay, I'm gonna open the garage door so you can get some better lighting so you can see what the front looks like before I add another color. So it is subtle, it's very subtle. But you can, there's just a slight lavender, just kind of like in the grains, but not much. So I think what I want to do, I love how the side is turning, I love how this side's turning out. Let me zoom in. The blue here. I love how, like down here, I don't know if you can see that in the video. You can see the pink right here from the wax with the, all that blue showing through. I do like that. And it's nice and buffed. See how nice and smooth that is now? Oh, I love wax. Okay, I'm gonna add another color. So let's try it again with another color. Okay, so I made another little batch that's more pink. And um, I figured the pink might, less, less lavender, more pink. So let's see. You can definitely see it more. See how, you know, this part is pink. So the pink shows up more than the lavender. So we'll see if it sticks better than the lavender. Usually I only do one section at a time and then I wipe it off. But I kind of want the paint to stick. So I'm kind of hoping the color lasts or holds on more if I leave it on. Let it soak in for a little bit before I wipe it off. Get in those cr cracks right there. I could have glazed this piece, but I really wanted to play and experiment. Okay, so you can see all the pink on there now. Zoom up, zoom in. Okay, so you can see how much wax I've got on there. I mean, it's pretty much covering the entire thing. And it's pretty thick with that paint. Get the inside here. I think this wax brush is just about on its last leg. <laughs> it is so hard. And I wash them. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off now. Well, it wasn't the look I was expecting. I was hoping to have a little bit softer of a look. This definitely has an an aged look, not the type of age that I was looking for. That's why we experiment on pieces that are, in a, are less expensive. Because <laughs> I don't mind, you know, 
sanding this back and starting over if I don't like it. But I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm just saying it wasn't the look I was expecting. Part of it could be too that I have a heated garage. So when I have the garage door shut, it's a, you know, it's a little chilly, but it's not like freezing cold. But now I got the garage door open. Um, I got the garage door open so that I have more light for the camera. And I think it's just making it dry a little faster. I do like how this is turning out though. I do like the drawer. So since I opened the door, I probably should have done it in sections like I normally do. But since the lavender didn't really show up, I thought maybe I should wait a little longer. But if I don't like it, I'm sure I could put some clear wax over it and um, lighten it up a bit. It is kind of cool. I'll zoom in when I get done. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm liking it. I'm going to play with it a little bit. I did go very heavy with the wax on the piece because I really I wanted a lot of color. Um, but up here, it's what I wanted. Here, I got more of an aged look. And I'll zoom in. So down, down there, I got kind of a messy aged look, the way that the wax kind of sat in. But that's what I was looking for. The drawer turned out, that's what I was expecting, the streaks. Zoom out. My nose is running now because it's so cold outside. So I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to wax the whole thing and see how the whole thing turns out. And um, add some knobs to it and do something to the top of the table. I might videotape that part. But I just wanted you to see what happens when you add paint to your wax. Let me play with this. I'll take some before pictures and I'll see what happens and I'll check in with you in a little bit. Well, I end up using four colors of wax on this and um, pretty much the colors of waxes that are in my little flowers I have on top. So I have the lavender wax or clear wax with lavender paint, clear wax with the ba ballet slipper pink paint, the clear wax with I added a gray and then clear wax with Annie Sloan duck egg blue. So I end up doing four layers to, to get this look. And I love how it turned out. Look at the, it just it brought so much texture to it. Here's where you can see really the duck egg blue. Here's where you can see all the colors. There you go. You can really see the duck egg blue, the pink, the gray just kind of aged it a little bit. Where you can really see the gray is kind of down here in the medallion. So I repeated the same process I showed you at the beginning, but I actually repeated it four times. Like I said, uh, lavender, pink, gray, and then duck egg blue. And I love how she turned out. And on the top, I just waxed, but I used, let me see if I can get the color in here. You can see the subtle, subtle streaking on the top. I used the duck egg blue and wax on the top over the white and just wiped it back. I love how she turned out. And then since the drawers are just the, the lavender on the sides and the duck egg blue wax on the handle. Okay, well the inside, there's, I did all the different colors of wax. Okay. So, just to kind of dress it up a little bit, I took a box that I got at, um, uh, where did I get this? Michael's Craft Store. Went to Michael's Craft Store, and it's just a little toy box that's been um, kind of whitewashed. It looks like with a, a slight, like, lime green patina paint. It actually has a baby blue 
kind of patina, but it matches really well. So I took the box, it's the exact same size as the opening, and all I did is I, I didn't hot glue, because hot glue won't last. I end up stapling lace, three layers of lace, there we go, three layers of lace, onto it to cover the front and I you just slide the little toy chest in. Voila. Your the child's toys are hidden and it still looks romantic. Okay, well that's how I finished her up. Okay, and she's all done. And we got construction going on in the basement, so you're gonna hear some hammering, so I gotta get going. But um, once again, this is Amy with Fashion Toppings and AJ's Vintage Designs. Until next time, hope you have a great day.